Hey everybody, this is Dr. Dale Guffey and this is sort of a what to expect for week one which deals with legal basics. I try to do these short overview videos not just for the chapters that you read and the reading assignments but also to kind of give you a quick what to expect for each week. So week one, legal basics, otherwise known as why have law and how's it work anyway. So when you get into this folder, you're going to see several things. You're going to see a chapter overview video for chapter one with PowerPoints and the same thing for chapter two. Approach these this way. Print the PowerPoints. I suggest printing them four to six to a page so that you still have room to write notes, but whatever works for you. Have those in front of you when you play the video. And that way you can take notes and you can make notes of things that don't quite make sense to you, things that are confusing. You can also make notes of things you want to make sure you look at when you go through and read the chapter. Once you have that done, then approach the chapter through reading it. But I think the videos really help figure, help you figure out what you can skim and what you need to focus on. So there's, those are set up for both chapters. At, after the PowerPoints for Chapter 1, there is a web link to something called the Green Book that is discussed in the Chapter 1 video. And I think knowing a little bit about what the Green Book is, if you don't already know what it's about, can really help you when you're studying the case of Heart of Atlanta Motel which is discussed in chapter one. So you have that, and then you have the video overview and the PowerPoints for chapter two. Approach those the same way. The chapter one video, I'll go ahead and warn you now, is really, really long, way longer than any other video will be because just so much is in chapter one. It's a foundational chapter. Following the PowerPoints for chapter two, you have... Uh, let's see, you have the discussion board. You have your first discussion board, which is super, super easy. Just pay attention to the deadlines, okay, and pay attention to the word count. You already have uh, the rubric available to you under the course overview tab in, in case you want to take another look at that before you post. This first one, super easy. Don't make it hard, okay? Just do what you need to do. Um, because it is the first one, you are just making a post, you're not making a response, okay? So you're fine on all that. And then the last thing that's in this first folder, and it'll be the last thing in every folder for every week, is something called uh, Ask the Professor. It's a place for you guys to simply ask questions about things that don't make sense to you in the readings, okay? And I check that along with checking messages and things like that, um, emails, phone phone calls. and it lets me respond to you in yet another way, okay? So that's what you can expect on week one. It is not a hard week, although you have two chapters. Usually you do not have that many, but uh, if you look on the semester plan, you will see that we discuss these two chapters in our first meeting. So obviously I want you to have them covered by then, but you don't have an additional reading assignment next week. You have a discussion board, that's a different matter, okay? But for week one, you have two chapters to read and a short appendix after chapter one and the discussion board, uh, the first discussion board to do. Everything you need is under week one for week one. There's no bouncing around, okay? And if you have questions, contact me. Remember, I can't answer questions that you don't ask. Thanks so much. Have some fun with chapter one and two. Bye.